Catherine Clay is EVP at Cebo Global Markets. Uh, Kathy, welcome to the Schwab Network. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Hi, Oliver. It's great to be on the Schwab Network. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that. Always like getting the live shot of the action down there. The bulls seem to be overwhelming the market. Should we be thinking about even lower volatility VIX levels? Well, the VIX is at a little bit of a subdued level right now. It's been somewhat of a mystery as, you know, we've faced a, a lot of um, just geopolitical risks. We, you were talking about the CPI coming out tomorrow morning, the FOMC in December. Uh, but still, options reign supreme. You know, when you think about last year, the options volume in 2023 was actually the fourth consecutive year for record-setting industry option volumes. So irrespective of where the VIX level is, what we're seeing here is just an increase in ongoing appetite for options trading, especially mm. in our index products uh, and uh, the ETF options. Now, the uh, single day, zero day expiry stuff, is that still as hot as it was coming, uh, you know, the second half of last year? Yeah, so zero day to expiry is really just a reflection of the fact that we have expirations, you know, every day of the week now in our index products and options on ETFs. And we still continue to see uh, appetite in those short dated options for sure. Uh, but we also have seen uh, growth in the longer dated, the longer duration options as well. And so the ecosystem as a whole seems very vibrant, but there's no denying that the front of the curve has uh, grown a lot of interest from our traders and investors uh, around the world. Interesting. What kind of, uh, is there an obvious uh, pattern in the strategies or kind of the utility of the trade that folks are putting on? Well, I think that's what's the beautiful thing about options. I mean, options is not really a best kept secret anymore. There are so many ways to deploy options in your portfolio, from income generation to defensive posturing, to opportunistic uh, strategies uh, that you might see in the market. And so what's really beautiful about what we're seeing as we examine the data in these short uh, term options is really that it's a balanced flow of trading. So that's not just one strategy. It's certainly not uh, naked short selling types of strategies. It's very balanced. A lot of uh, put and call vertical spreads trade. Uh, there's obviously call and put buying outright, but really a balanced uh, profile of options trading uh, across the durations and especially as we really focus on that short term uh, option contract in the zero DTEs. Is it a distinctly different environment than the COVID kind of trading mania where it was all about like reaching out of the money and then getting paid for it? We were getting VIX up, stocks up a lot. Do you feel that we've graduated to a different type of environment? Yeah, I mean, just because the growth in zero DTEs followed the pandemic and the craze in the meme stocks, they really aren't related. Mm -hmm. What we saw in the meme stocks, I'm sure everyone remembers, was just an aggressive call buying in those stocks. Uh, and then when they came crashing back down, there was some pain that was felt. And again, what we're seeing in the trading and our index options and the options on ETFs is really a balanced tenor. It is a, an amalgamation of many, many different strategies and many different durations. And so it seems much more sustainable. Um, it doesn't feel like this is a cyclical thing. These types of strategies can be deployed irrespective of what the volatility regime is or the macro environment is. So we continue to believe that this is sustainable volume that we're seeing in our product. In fact, just this week, we listed the Tuesday and Thursday expiries in our Russell 2000 index options. And so um, mm. making it available for traders to take and port their strategies that they've successfully implemented in our S&P 500 options, moving them over into the small cap sector, utilizing our RUT2 index options. All right. So uh, new products for the small caps, which have been pretty fun to watch, a little more volatile lately than the rest of the market. Uh, Kathy, we've got another Kathy up next. Mrs. Wood from ARK Invest waiting <laughs> for that spot ETF, and the coiners say it's going to take up all the flow. You guys worried the futures are going to get less traded? You're going to lose some volume to competition? Well, listen, you know, SIBO does have a digital asset exchange, SIBO Digital. So we are as well waiting for this announcement to come out. Uh, optimistic that we'll hear some news uh, today on this. But uh, Kathy Wood waiting in the wings. Uh, I'm sure you need to get to her. So uh, thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Uh, so it's kind of a win-win for, for SIBO in a way. Because you've got an existing product and then you're going to be able to uh, benefit from this as well. 
I agree. I think it will be. And of course, we have an ETP listings business, uh, and Kathy's uh, ETF is one of the potential listers on our listings exchange. So, Got it. All right, we'll be in touch this year. Thanks a lot for the uh, catch up, and we'll see you in 2024. Thanks, Catherine Clay. Appreciate it. Great Thank stuff. you. Joining us from SIBO, Executive Vice President, SIBO Global Markets.